Samsung is about to change the foldable game once again. Imagine a phone that doesn't just fold once, but twice, offering a whole new way to experience a smartphone. While we've seen foldables evolve over the years, Samsung's upcoming trifold device could be its most innovative yet. But here's the catch. It might not be available everywhere. Reports suggest that Samsung is developing a trifold phone alongside the Galaxy Z Fold 7 and Z Flip 7, but it could see a limited release, just like the rumored Galaxy Z Fold SE. According to Galaxy Club, Samsung is working on a mysterious device with the codename Q7M, featuring two hinges and three foldable panels. While the Galaxy Z Fold 7, but wait, 99.4% of you watching aren't subscribed. If you enjoy my content, hit that subscribe button and tap the bell icon for the latest updates. Is identified as the SMF966 model, this new trifold model could carry the SMF968 designation. Interestingly, early tests are already underway with the model number SMF968N hinting at an exclusive launch in South Korea. However, Samsung might expand its availability to markets like China, similar to how they handled the Z Fold SE W25. If everything goes smoothly, Samsung might reveal the trifold phone earlier than expected. With Huawei aggressively pushing its Mate XT Ultimate into the global market, Samsung is moving quickly to stay ahead. While the Galaxy Z Fold 7 is expected to launch in July, the trifold model could make an appearance later in the year. There's even a chance we'll get a sneak peek at a prototype during the next Galaxy Unpacked event. Samsung is clearly betting big on foldables, and if the trifold lives up to the hype, it could redefine what a foldable smartphone can be. The question is, will it be the future of foldables or just a limited experiment? Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold 7 is still months away, but leaks are already giving us a glimpse of what's coming. And trust me, this one's shaping up to be a game changer. From a redesigned S Pen to a nearly invisible crease, there's a lot to talk about. Let's dive in. First up, let's talk about that S Pen. According to reliable sources, Samsung is making it thicker than the one on the Fold 6. But here's the best part. It's not just about size. The upgraded pen tips promise a much better writing experience, making it feel smoother and more precise. And for those worried about losing S Pen support altogether, relax. Samsung isn't ditching it. In fact, they're reportedly starting mass production of this redesigned stylus in June, just in time for the Fold 7's expected July launch. But Samsung knows the competition is heating up. Oppo's Find N5 has been making waves for being ultra slim, and Samsung is taking notes. Reports suggest the Fold 7 might borrow design elements from last year's special edition, aiming to be sleeker and more refined. With the device measuring just 4.5 millimeters when unfolded and 9.5 millimeters when folded, it's set to be the thinnest Z Fold yet. Now, let's talk about something that's been holding foldables back, the crease. If leaks are accurate, Samsung has finally cracked the code, and the Fold 7 could feature a crease that's nearly invisible during normal use. Think about it. No more annoying reflections or distracting ridges. If this turns out to be true, it could be the breakthrough that makes foldables truly mainstream. But while Samsung is bringing major improvements in design, there's one thing that isn't changing. The battery. Reports indicate the Fold 7 will stick with the same 4,400 mAh capacity we've seen since the Fold 3. And unfortunately, charging speeds might stay the same as well. It's a bit disappointing. But let's be real, the real excitement is in the form factor and display improvements. Now here's the twist. We've been getting all these leaks about the Fold 7, but what about the Flip 7? Will it also get the nearly invisible crease upgrade? Right now, that remains a mystery. But if Samsung manages to bring this innovation to clamshell foldables too, it could be a major win for the Flip series. Performance-wise, there's another interesting rumor. Samsung's Exynos chipset might be making a comeback. With improvements in its 3 nanometer manufacturing process, the Exynos 2500 could debut in the next Z series foldables. And if all goes well, we might even see Exynos return to the Galaxy S lineup next year. Could this finally be Samsung's answer to Snapdragon's dominance? Let's be real. The Galaxy S25 lineup felt a little underwhelming. Solid phones, sure, but nothing groundbreaking. Meanwhile, if the Fold 7 truly delivers a crease-free experience and a sleeker design, it could steal the spotlight from the S-Series entirely. 
maybe this is the moment when foldables finally go mainstream. That's everything we know so far. What do you think? Will the Fold 7 be the ultimate foldable? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Thanks to OnLeaks, we now have renders, dimensions, and even some juicy specs that are going to change how we look at foldable phones in 2025. Now let's talk about what really stands out, the thickness, or should I say the lack of it. But wait, 99.4% of you watching aren't subscribed. If you enjoy my content, hit that subscribe button and tap the bell icon for the latest updates. The Z Fold 7 is coming in at just 9mm when folded. That's only 0.8mm thicker than the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Can you imagine? A foldable phone that's almost as sleek and pocketable as a regular flagship. That's insane. Compared to the Fold 6, which was already pretty slim, this is a game changer. But wait, it's not just thinner, it's wider too. Samsung has tweaked the design, making the cover screen larger at 6.5 inches and the inner display a massive 8.2 inches. That's a serious boost over the Fold 6's 7.6 inch screen. You're basically carrying a mini tablet in your pocket. And honestly, that's the kind of innovation we love to see. Now let's talk about power. The Z Fold 7 is expected to be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite, possibly a seven core version. But hold on, there's still a chance Samsung might throw in an Exynos 2500 variant. Either way, we're looking at next level performance, smoother multitasking, and maybe even better battery efficiency. Speaking of battery, it's sticking to the same 4400 milliamp capacity, but with a more efficient chipset, Samsung could squeeze out an extra hour of screen time. Fingers crossed. And cameras, oh boy, this is where things get exciting. There's a chance we're getting a 200 megapixel main sensor. Let that sink in, a foldable phone with a 200 megapixel camera. Plus, we might see some improvements in the under display selfie camera, which would be a welcome upgrade. But and this is a big but. If you were hoping for a radical new design, you might be a little disappointed. The Fold 7 is keeping the same overall look as its predecessor. No flashy changes, no crazy design overhauls, just refinement. And honestly, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes perfecting the formula is better than reinventing the wheel. So what do you guys think? Is the Z Fold 7's ultra slim form factor enough to make it your next upgrade? Or were you hoping for something more? Drop your thoughts in the comments and let's get the hype train rolling. Samsung's big unpacked event is still months away, but this leak just made the wait a whole lot more exciting. The Galaxy Z Fold 7. Recent developments suggest that the company has already started software development for the device, as its first firmware build has been spotted on Samsung's servers. According to well-known tipster Taryn Vatz via Sam Mobile, the initial software build for the US variant of the Galaxy Z Fold 7 model number SMF9662 is based on Android 15 and One UI 7. This leak aligns with reports suggesting that Samsung may skip the One UI 7.1.1 update for its foldables, likely due to delays in rolling out the stable One UI 7.0 update for existing Galaxy devices. Instead, Samsung seems to be focusing on integrating foldables directly with One UI 7 rather than introducing an interim version. A recent leak from Ice Universe on a Chinese social media site has provided exciting details about the book-style foldables specifications. One of the biggest challenges for foldables has always been the crease, but Samsung may have finally solved this issue with ultra-thin glass 2.0. Reports indicate that this next-gen display technology will be thinner, stronger, and significantly reduce crease visibility by up to 60%. A new layering technique is also expected to improve durability while enhancing touch sensitivity, making the foldable screen feel more like a traditional smartphone with fewer reflections and smoother folds. Durability has always been a concern for foldables, but Samsung appears to be tackling this with a new hybrid glass material that reportedly offers 3x better scratch resistance and improved pressure tolerance. This could mean fewer micro scratches from fingernails or dust. Additionally, rumors suggest the outer display may feature Gorilla Glass armor, similar to the Galaxy S25 Ultra for added protection. For S Pen users, the Z Fold 7 could be a game changer. The upgraded glass structure is expected to enhance pressure sensitivity, making the stylus feel more natural and responsive. 
Another exciting rumor points to a redesigned hinge that allows for a flatter, gapeless fold, making the phone slimmer and more compact than previous models. With ultra-thin glass 2.0, improved durability, and enhanced S Pen functionality, the Galaxy Z Fold 7 is shaping up to be Samsung's most futuristic foldable yet. Leaks suggest that the Z Fold 7 7 will feature larger screens, much like the Galaxy Fold Special Edition. Reports from Tech Radar indicate an 8-inch main foldable screen and a 6.5-inch cover display, providing more real estate for multitasking and media consumption. To make the device slimmer and more portable, Samsung may remove the built-in S Pen slot, making the S Pen an optional accessory rather than a built-in feature. For photography enthusiasts, the Z Fold 7 is expected to boast a 200 megapixel main camera, a massive upgrade from its predecessor. This enhancement promises sharper, more detailed photos, elevating the mobile photography experience. Under the hood, the Galaxy Z Fold 7 is likely to be powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite processor, ensuring top-tier performance for apps and gaming. The battery is expected to remain at 4,400 milliamp hours, similar to the Z Fold 6, but software optimizations could improve battery efficiency. On the software front, the device will run One UI 7 based on Android 15, bringing AI-powered features for a more personalized and intuitive user experience. A new report suggests that both the Z Flip 7 and Z Fold 7 will bring improvements in display technology and performance. While Samsung has significantly reduced the crease in recent foldables, the Z Fold 7's crease is now almost gone, though still slightly visible under certain lighting conditions. However, despite this display refinement, brightness levels may remain at a peak of 2600 nits. The speakers on the Z Fold 7 are expected to offer better sound quality, making media consumption and gaming even more immersive. One major rumor suggests that Samsung is focusing on making the device ultra-thin, which may require sacrifices in S Pen functionality. Tipster Crocor claims that achieving a super-thin design might limit the S Pen experience, but specific details remain unclear. Unlike the Galaxy S Ultra lineup, which features a built-in S Pen holster, the Taz Z Fold series has always required users to rely on separate S Pen accessories, like the S Pen Fold Edition or S Pen Pro. Samsung is reportedly scaling back production of its foldable lineup. Tipster Anthony suggests that Sam plans to manufacture only 5 million units of the Z Flip 7 and Z Fold 7, significantly lower than its long-term goal of 10 million units. This aligns with an industry-wide trend, as several Chinese manufacturers are also reducing foldable production or canceling models altogether. Pricing rumors suggest that Samsung will maintain the same pricing strategy as its predecessor, with the Galaxy Z Fold 7 starting at $1,899 in the U.S. market. Here's a breakdown of Samsung's 2025 foldable pricing. Galaxy Z Fold 7, $1,899. Galaxy Z Flip 7, $1,099. Galaxy Z Flip Fan Edition. A more budget-friendly option. The Galaxy Z Fold 7 is shaping up to be one of Samsung's most exciting foldables yet, featuring major improvements in display technology, durability, and performance. If these leaks hold true, Samsung is planning a significant upgrade in thickness reduction, crease elimination, and camera enhancements. With the Galaxy Z Fold 7 rumored to launch in July 2025 during Samsung's annual Galaxy Unpacked event, we won't have to wait too long to see what's in store. What are your thoughts on the upcoming Galaxy Z Fold 7? Are these upgrades enough to convince you to buy one? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.